Okay, let's take a look at um, the range of some of the different data types um, that we've talked about. So if I want to know the range um, of a byte, for instance, I could do system.out.println, and then I'm going to use a capital byte, capital B on byte, for um, the byte class as opposed to the primitive data type. And then a dot operator followed by all caps max value. Okay, and if you recall, um, all caps was something that we would use for final variables. So what we're accessing here is a final variable from the byte class. And so we're using the dot operator on the byte class and then that final variable's name. Okay, so let's go ahead and compile and run. It, and we can see that the maximum value for a byte is 127. Okay, now the min value is very similar. So to have the minimum value displayed, we're going to change max to min, um, all caps. And we'll go ahead and run that. Okay, so the upper value in the range for a byte is 127, lower value is negative um, 128. So let's go ahead and um, we'll declare data type byte, that's a primitive data type. We'll call it example and, um, oh, whoops, I think I spelled it wrong. So let's fix that. There we go, byte example, and we're going to make it equal to that higher value, the maximum value in its range, so 127. Now, if I try to take example, and I'm going to add one to it, so example plus one. Okay, now, oops, when I try to run, Let's take a look at the error. So we have an overflow, underflow error, incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from int to byte. So this number one here is being treated as an integer. We're adding an integer to a byte, and the byte's maximum value is 127. So now this value is 128. We're trying to reassign that to a byte that has a maximum of 127, and it causes this um, overflow error that we're encountering down at the bottom. Now, something interesting that you can do is let's put parentheses grouping that together. And the byte plus the integer, since we're outside of the range there, that's an integer answer, right, that's beyond our maximum value. Let's go in front and we're going to cast that result as a byte. So we're going to add one to example, cast it as a byte, and then reassign it to example. And so let's see if that will compile, which it did. So now let's take a look at what that equals. So we'll copy our print statement down here and let's output example. Okay, so we'll run. Okay, so here is, oh, let me pull this up a little bit. Okay, so here's my output. 127, that was the max value. Negative 128, that's the min value. I assigned 127, the max, to my byte example. I added one as an integer, that's 128, cast it as a byte, and 128 as a byte is back to the minimum value, negative 128. Okay, another way that um, we can see this, um, instead of throwing an overflow underflow um, error, we're going to be able to avoid that error by doing example plus plus. So the plus plus incrementer is going to add one, but in the same data type, right, as um, our 
variable. So it's going to take the value of example, which is 127, add 1 to it, and reassign it to example. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and there we get that um, overflow where we took the max value, we added 1, we incremented it by 1 in the type byte, and it wrapped around to the minimum value. So um, this can be very troublesome, um, this integer wraparound, when you're trying to debug math problems. Um, because if you're not conscious all the time of the range of your variable um, data type, you can get answers that are wrong because it's wrapping around. It's hitting the maximum and wrapping around back to the minimum value um, when you add. Similarly, if we start with the minimum value, so if we start with negative 128, and instead of incrementing, we decrement. So we're going to do a minus minus. Okay, that's going to take 128. It's going to subtract 1, which would be negative 129. But because that's outside of the range, we're, it's going to wrap around um, that underflow back to the maximum value. So let's go ahead and test that out and see what it looks like. And, and there we are. So the negative 128 minus 1 brings us to the maximum value 127. And you can see that integer wraparound happening um, there again.